Houston Station 2 for change of command. With you on 2, right? I know you can't see them all because of uh, Kate's hair, but they're all here. All right, Ike, so we'll kick it off here. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Uh, Houston, hello. We are glad to talk with you from uh, International Space Station. I think we can start. We can start for event. Affirmative, you're ready to start. Affirmative, you're ready to start. So, uh, behind our shoulders, uh, six months of being on board the station, it was amazing time, and uh, it was unforgettable, uh, many unforgettable events during our increment we had. And uh, now time to hand over uh, commanding from station, uh, from me to Shannon, and I'm so glad to do it because I know Shannon from uh, old <laughs> For multiple years, we uh, trained together uh, in winter survival and water survival, and now we flying uh, together on board station. And um, I think our job here it's very important for you know, scientists, for uh, people uh, who involved in our program. But uh, most important, in my opinion, it's uh, example how we can. Uh, work together, how we can to have fun together, and uh, if people could see how we can have fun here, they understood that in spite of uh, it's a dangerous place, radiation, zero gravity, etc. But uh, it's the most peaceful uh, place around the world because we live here very friendly uh, and. Uh, I wish uh, Shannon uh, to continue these traditions uh, and crew get together, work together, and uh, I wish you successful of your mission. Thank you very much, all ground team, uh, all MCCs, uh, Houston, Huntsville, Munich, Tsukuba, Moscow, and uh, we appreciate your support during our mission, and thank you very much. Uh, and uh, traditionally, we have uh, handover key <laughs> from the station, and I'm glad to hand over it to Shannon. Thank you, Sergey. It is um, truly an honor and a privilege to accept command of the International Space Station um, and the responsibility for this amazing orbiting laboratory that we have up here. Um, and, as you say, to carry on the traditions of international cooperation in space. Um, to the Soyuz MS-17 crew, um, Sergey, Sergey, Kate, <laughs> I just want to say, I'm, I know I'm speaking for everybody, thank you so much for such a wonderful time these past five months that we've had together. It's truly been the uh, teamwork and the camaraderie that has made it very special. Um, as we all know, Expedition 64, was incredibly busy. As you pointed out, we've done all kinds of research. I don't know how many EVAs between the two sides, um, multiple cargo vehicles. We've done station repairs. We've done station upgrades. We've done station maintenance. Um, and none of it would have been possible without the support of people on the ground, our families, uh, the instructors that got us ready, the control centers, the people that work there, um, and, of course, all the researchers around the world whose work that we are carrying out up here. And in that vein, I'd actually like to give a special shout out to Kenny Todd, um, who's been the leader of the operational side um, many, many years in Houston. And we understand he's retiring at the end of the month. And so from everybody up here, we wish you 
uh, fair winds and following seas, you are going to be missed and your leadership is going to be missed. To the Soyuz MS-18 crew, Fyodor, where did he go? There you are. Yeah. Mark, Alec, I know our time together is going to be relatively short, but I know that our crew and Expedition 64 is going to carry out wonderful things. And so, Sergei, finally, I'd like to wish you and your crew a safe journey home. I konechna, konechna, mwi zhulayam vui vam miyaki pasaki. So Houston, I think that's it from the station. I don't know if you have any words. And Station Houston knows that uh, from our standpoint, that concludes the event. Thanks for all the great words. And uh, have a safe trip back home, uh, Sergey, Kate, and Sergey. Station, Thank this you. is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Operational audio communications.